January 4th, and I still don't have a bass. What do I have to do to catch these fish? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Bart Sebastian here, back. I have been defeated. I'm talking about defeated since January 1st. I've been trying to catch these fish, and they're not having it. <clears throat> we had a massive cold front come in. It was 75 degrees New Year's Eve. I'm talking 75 degrees on December 31st. I'm talking a 30 degree difference in temperature overnight. We were going from 60, 50, high 50s to 60s at night, 75 during the day, down to 40s at night, 50s during the day. I'm talking the fishing has been shut down. As you can see, I went into Field and Stream and I got some things to fish the Ned Rig. So let's go to Chess Mount and hopefully, I'm not promising anything, but hopefully we're going to slay them. One finally. Oh my god. I still don't know how they want it. They want to just sit in the bottom. What I was doing with that one is I was just I let it fall to the bottom and I'd slowly bring my rod up. 12 o'clock, reel in the slack, and let it fall back down. And I think you hit it on the fall and I just wasn't expecting I didn't feel a tick or nothing. At least I'm getting something to bite. Oh my goodness. That is how you want it. Right there, yes. It's not big, by any means. It's a beautiful looking fish. Good coloration on it. First fish 2019, baby. All I'm doing is slack line. I'm letting it sink fully to the bottom. Let it sit for a little bit. I just bring my rod tip up to 12 o'clock and I let it sink back down. I'm telling you, I've never had the joy of catching such a small fish in my life. Got another one. Oh, he choked it, fellas. I mean, he choked it. Fish number two. They said they're dinks. I mean, I'm catching them, so that's what I'm most concerned with right now. I did buy, these are all 2.75 Ned rigs. I did buy a four inch. So if we catch enough, I get confident enough. We'll throw that four inch, try to catch some bigger size. He smoked that one. Right on the top lip how you want it and he smoked it there it is it's a better one stay down stay down nah Got some war wounds on them right there. Top of the head. Something right there. Hmm. Alright guys, so I'm back home. Um, pretty good day over the course of the four days that I've tried to catch fish today. Or the four days I've tried to catch fish. I'm not gonna make this video too long. Let's go ahead and dive in and go over the products that I bought and uh, wrap this video up. All right, so first thing is the shroom head from Z-Man. Uh, as you can see, it's curved in the bottom, flat on top, very small hook. <coughs> um, I got this in the smallest weight I could find. I believe it's like a one-tenth of an ounce. Um, 
and for as cold as it was, I wanted to go as light as possible. So that's what I went with. I uh, threw the, the top of the packaging away, but and I only, I only had two left. I kept getting hung up on stuff. So that's what the 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 Ned head looks like right there. All right. Next up is the what I was using was called the the TRD, which is that Senko style cut in half. So I bought three different kinds just to try them out. Uh, the full the first one is a four inch, which is in California Craw, right here. So as you can see, it's got like a green pumpkin watermelon flake, and it goes dark. All right, kind of two sided. Um, if you don't know about Z-Man products, they have, they use Elastex. So basically super stretchy, super, super durable. I mean, you could use the same lure for hundreds of fish in one day. I mean, this, this one right here could last you an entire day. Um, I didn't get any bites on a bigger one. I was trying to go for some bigger fish and it just didn't happen. So that was the four inch one. And this is the Finesse TRD green pumpkin. Uh, like I said, 2.75. A lot smaller as you can see there and I got a couple bites on this but until I switched over to Drew's Craw in 2.75 is when I started catching a fish. We just had a little bit more. Uh, it's got a red and gold flake. It's hard to see. I don't know if that's, what kind, if that's a green pumpkin but then it comes into this white belly right here. So this is what they wanted today and um, as you see, we caught about four fish on them. We had a bunch of bites on it and it worked out real good. So I was really happy that I decided to A, watch videos on a net rig and then B, fish them because I would have never thought about fishing a net rig until I came across the videos. The rig I was using it on was a uh, McCain spinning reel. It's a medium action. This is actually their wacky their wacky rig fishing rods specifically, paired with a Quantum KVD something. I don't know, I've had this reel this for like eight years. Um, with the key today was this high vis light braid. I believe it's six pound test braid, but the high vis was, cr was crucial today because I really had to watch that line. So that was six pound braid, and then I put that with a four pound monofilament leader. Uh, I tried going as light as possible. One thing I would recommend with this is if you if you have a medium light rod, I would use the medium light, vice the medium. The medium just has a little bit too much stiffness in it. Um, these rods, McCain rods, are very sensitive rods, but a medium light with that, that super, super sensitive tip would have been uh, that much better today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was nice to be able to put together a video on the water. That was good, so, uh, and actually catch some fish. It feels like most of my videos are here sitting in the kitchen talking about fishing. So, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, the whole spiel that you know everybody uh, asks for you to do, and stay tuned for more videos.